Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Crypto Take over here coming back with another Bitcoin cryptocurrency video for you. Let's see if we can get the right scene place there. There we go. All right. Vimo just put crypto assets in the palm of everyone's hand. I just found this article. I'm not too sure what it's about. Um, maybe Venmo now uh, accepting cryptocurrency? Possibly. We're going to take a look at the article, see what the uh, CN, CN, CNN uh, video has to say too as well, and then jump on over into the charts. So let's go ahead and cue that intro and get started, folks. Let's see where Bitcoin is sitting at right now. I believe we are sitting at uh, $55,300. So Bitcoin kind of taking a little bit of a break right now, but we are going to also jump over into those charts here in just a second. Let's go ahead and prepare these charts for us. I just always just hit the play, hit the record button right away and um, never have anything prepared. So here we go. So Venmo just put crypto assets in the palm of everyone's hand. We're going to take a look and see what's going on here, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that way y'all can stay updated each and every single video that we make on this channel each and every single day. And don't forget to join us in our private trading group page. We post everything on Discord. We just use Patreon as a payment processor. All right. So let's see what this video has to say here of CNN and I think they were going to be talking about Dogecoin supporters want the value to a dollar. Yes, Dogecoin is hot on the scene right now. Cryptocurrency is having its day in the sun. Its value soaring as much as 20% on what its fans are calling Doge Day. But prices are in reverse right now, down nearly 5%. Claire Sebastian is here to explain rather you than me. I think the first thing we need to clear up is what is it actually called? Is it Dogecoin or is it doggy coin? Because there is a picture of a dog on the front of it. It's like calling a target Target, I believe. Yeah, so then, the, the, the sophisticated edge, the, the, the pronunciation Dogecoin, that is the most common one I've heard, but I know there is some debate out there about how exactly to pronounce it. But but look, I think that's part of the, the appeal here. This is sort of the underdog, if you'll allow me, uh, oh. a little pun there uh, of the crypto world, and it has really become sort of much more mainstream due to the huge rise in its value this year. Extraordinary numbers, Julia. The value is up about 8,000% so far in 2021, about 400%. In the past week alone, which is the kind of rally that you just don't really see except in these sort of meme type investments, including stocks like GameStop uh, that we've seen in the past. But this is a cryptocurrency that was started by two software engineers as a joke in 2013. It's different from Bitcoin in that it doesn't have the sort of built in scarcity. There's not a limited supply. They're going to release more blocks as it. All right, yeah, so if y'all don't know, Doge is definitely on its way up to a dollar, more than likely. We'll be hitting a dollar by the end of the year, um, you know, and I think that we had talked about Doge plenty of times on this channel before, but let's see what the, uh, you know, article was mainly about, about Venmo crypto assets, and then we can talk about Doge at another time too as well. So we have Bitcoin and similar cryptocurrencies have gone increasingly mainstream, but Tuesday's announcement that Venmo is adding crypto support just put crypto access in the palm of everyone's hand. Venmo is which a PayPal uh, owned company uh, said it has more than 70 million customers can buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash for as little as a dollar. Wow, this is big, folks. Um, I mean, I think everyone that I know in my friend circle, the way we pay each other is through Venmo. So once they start seeing Venmo, uh, you know, especially that they're going to offer Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, Ethereum, not just only Bitcoin, you know, some of the alts are going to be in there too as well. Crypto can often feel confusing and inaccessible to newbies, so Venmo will offer an in-app guides and videos to help answer commonly asked questions and share information about the world of crypto. The payment company hopes that this initiative uh, demystifies some of the common questions and misconceptions that consume consumers may have. Uh, senior Vice President and General Manager, okay, more than 30% of Venmo customers have already purchased cryptocurrency or equities, uh, according to the payments company, and 20% of those customers started doing so during the pandemic. Last week, crypto enthusiasts soared as trading platform Coinbase went public at a valuation of $86 billion, followed by a wild 500% rally in Doge, an asset that was created as a joke in 2013. Cryptocurrency bankers or backers have uh, spent years insisting that Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other digital coins could revolutionize the world of finance. That hasn't happened yet, but Venmo's announcement is another example of how crypto is creeping even closer towards mainstream acceptance. Yeah, this is pretty big, actually, folks. Uh, Venmo is joining a list of other companies that recently began recognizing or accepting cryptocurrencies. Tesla has started accepting Bitcoin payments for its cars and now holds some of the digital currencies as its balance sheet payment processors, including MasterCard and Visa, are trying to streamline crypto payments in their networks. Goldman Sachs will uh, reportedly soon offer its uh, private 
wealth management clients avenues and in investments in bitcoin and other digital currencies and morgan stanley announced that it will offer its wealthy clients access to bitcoin fee funds okay so wow um i i'm pretty excited about this honestly uh it's definitely going to now just be a mainstream thing for all of our friends, really. I think, like I was saying earlier, every single one of my friends, the way we pay each other, if we take each other out to eat or, um, you know, whether we pay each other for a, a gig or something like that, we usually uh, give each other our Venmo uh, accounts. So, you know, the fact that we're going to start to see that Bitcoin logo, that Ethereum logo, the Litecoin logo and Bitcoin Cash logo in Venmo, that is just substantial news, folks. So um, we are still early to the game. Um, if you've been here with us for the past year and a half on this channel so far, and maybe even through the bear market of 2017 and now, uh, you know, now that we're in our bull market rally, um, I would say that this is definitely um, part of that mainstream adoptance that we've been wanting and that we are finally getting here um, with the cryptocurrency space. So folks, exciting, exciting news here for us, uh, to be honest. And uh, let's go ahead and jump on over into the charts and get started over there. See what kind of price action we got going on. All right. So zooming in here on the weekly chart, no sign of a green dot just yet on our weekly chart. We've had our red dot um, starting from market cipher and then just kind of heading down. Folks, also, you can see that Bitcoin right now is hovering at a price of about $53,000 excuse me, $55,000, 300. Um, so we need to get back up. We were retesting all the way back up to $57,000 as of yesterday. And uh, now we're starting to see the price kind of decline just a tad bit. Um, so let's take a look here. You know, obviously market cipher not giving us any green dots here on the weekly chart just yet. We had our red dot. It is dipping below our 60% level. We want to see our green dot probably right below or right above um, our green money flow here if we start to dip down below our green money flow then we're probably going to have a little bit more um you know further downside but we'll kind of keep a close eye on things and here and take a look at things one thing that we want to take note of is that on our three-day chart we were holding support here on our 21 daily moving average so our 21 ema was holding us support here um, it does look like we have some red candles that are forming and then we also have a bearish one count on the ti sequential um, and so this could be leading to a little bit more of a sideways movement i would say we just need to make sure that we hold support above this 21 ema which is sitting right at about fifty three thousand six hundred dollars so um, i would say that this is definitely a key area that we need to keep a close eye on um, for the three-day chart to make sure that we don't break down too much lower um, taking a look at market cipher it does look like our vwap is still headed down on our three-day chart and our momentum waves are still headed to the downside too as well so we definitely want to start seeing some recovery but that's why we're going to continue to zoom in here and see if we are starting to see any type of recovery here um, looking at our daily chart this looks a little bit more promising folks um, looking at market cipher we can already start to see that our vwap is starting to clip to the upside here we probably want to see a nice tight momentum wave here uh, with the green dot and then have that momentum wave start to recover back to the upside for uh, market cipher at least and then if we look at our price target or our candlestick patterns uh, we can also see that we're probably more or less still forming a sideways movement action here um, the ti sequential is giving us a bearish four count here uh, we can see that market god did, did give us a sell signal back here too as well um, and so we'll probably end up consolidating out to the side just like we saw our last sell signal with market god um, on the daily chart too as well um, had a little bit of a sell-off and it wasn't anything major so i don't think that we're going to get you know that big 80 percent correction like uh, most of the bear market was back in uh, 2018 2019 you know um, but um, it does look like we are probably just going to continue to kind of move sideways here for the most part and probably wait for that recovery to start implementing itself on the daily chart. Um, continuing to zoom in here, let's take a look and see where we've gotten our green dots to start to pop off yet. Um, looking at our eight hour chart here and possibly even our six hour, let's zoom into our six hour, see what's happening here. It looks like we have a double snake eyes, uh, you know, with market cipher. We look for these patterns um, that say uh, this could be a potential bottom. So this is a six hour chart. We have our double snake eyes here. 
Um, this is definitely a nice signal for us to probably say, hey, this could be a temporary bottom, um, not maybe even a possible uh, for sure bottom to probably continue our rally up a little bit higher. Um, if we zoom back into our candlestick patterns here, um, we can also see that uh, we are seeing a little bit of a green resistance line here that we did break out of last time above and put in a new all time high at $63,000. Uh, but we came back down to retest this green uh, trend line that we broke through as resistance or as support. And we broke through it, um, fell through it, and now we're going to have to wait to see if we can recover and maybe bounce back through that green resistance line um, to make our way back up to that $60,000 area. But I would say that Market Cipher has definitely given us a clear signal here on our six-hour chart, um, which is definitely a, a, a key time frame that you want to keep a close eye on when it comes to market cipher we have our double green uh, snake eyes down here which definitely implements probably somewhat of a bottom it does look like we are putting in a lower high or higher low here with our momentum wave too and so now we just want to start to see this starting to recover just a tad bit more um, let's just take a look at our four hour just for fun and then we'll probably go ahead and end it off there taking a look at our four hour chart here folks um, probably putting in some type of um, you know w pattern here for us too as well it does look like we are starting to form somewhat of a little bit of a w pattern on our candlestick patterns here too as well so somewhat of a w forming probably wanting to break back up above this 21 ema on the four hour chart and then if we zoom on into market cipher what is market cipher telling us market cipher telling us that we got our green dot here on the four hour chart money flow still looking a little thin but if our if our momentum waves start to recover back up above this zero percent level um, and we break through our zero zero percent level on our four hour chart then we're probably going to continue up a little bit higher and then we're going to wait for that recovery on our six hour chart to probably continue up a little bit higher from there too as well so folks things are looking um, like they are going to take a little bit of time for us to recover but more than likely this is going to get bought up relatively quickly we'll probably see some big major market move um, coming into uh, the end of April or May um, to get us back into that $60,000 level. Um, but we're going to keep a close eye on the time frames here. We want to see that nice one day green mom uh, momentum wave give us a, a, a or, or the daily chart give us a green dot here on the momentum waves we want to see that pop off too as well and we also want to see our six hour chart get above our 60 percent level or zero percent level um, to give us a nice little rally there too as well so we're going to keep a close eye on things folks thanks for joining us on today's video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell check the links in the description box below if you want to pick up the market cipher package indicator package by CryptoFace. There's a link in the description box below with a 5% off discount code there available to you. You also get access to his Discord server too as well. So shout out to CryptoFace and helping being a supporter of this channel. We are one of the top resellers when it comes to Market Cipher. And Market Cipher is honestly one of the best indicators out there that you should be using. So I highly recommend it. I highly suggest that y'all go pick it up. Use our link in the description box below. Don't forget to join us on our private trading group page. If you're interested in learning a little bit more, um, and staying up to date with us 24 by 7 learning about some of those alts that we're dollar cost averaging into on a daily basis then join us over in our private trading group page everything that we post for our private trading group page is located on discord we just use patreon as a payment processor so i look forward to having you join us and uh yeah with that being said i look forward to also seeing venmo start to <laughs> implement that crypto crypto transactions in there i think that is relatively nice bullish news for us too folks um the the adoption is uh, starting to take place slowly but surely so we are here we're gonna keep y'all tuned in each and every single day i hope y'all have fun and i'll see y'all in the next one cto signing out peace